I think The Truman Show is probably one of Jim Carrey's finest films ever. Certainly, it's exceptionally well received. It's got 8.1 out of 10 on IMDb across almost a million reviews, a meta score of 90, it's number 167 in the top rated movies on IMDb. It was nominated for three Oscars. Uh, the Oscars it was nominated for were the Best Actor in Supporting Role for Ed Harris, Best Director and Best Writing. Oddly, it didn't get the Best Picture nomination and Jim Carrey didn't get the Best Actor nomination, but that's irrelevant. It did very well at the Golden Globes and the most important critic, the audience, definitely seemed to love it and I completely agree with that. So this was released in 1998, directed by Peter Weir, written by Andrew Nichol, starring Jim Carrey, Ed Harris and Laura Linney. And the description from IMDb is very vague, but kind of sums it up quite nicely. And this says, an insurance salesman discovers his whole life is actually a reality TV show. That sounded very exciting, but I didn't know what to expect from it. I wasn't sure how it was going to unfold or what direction it would take. It's absolutely brilliant. I apologise if you could hear my phone buzzing there. Um, so Truman Burbank, played by Jim Carrey, is a baby in this reality TV show. And he grows up and lives his life out on this 24-hour TV show. And the nation gets to watch this. But obviously because the cameras are hidden, he has no idea that he is actually go growing up in this entirely fabricated existence. And I kind of feel like it's a film version of The Sims. And that's brilliant. He doesn't know that he is a character in a TV show, really. But because he was basically born there and has been raised inside of this bubble, he has never known any different. And I have to say, the set design is obviously ridiculously elaborate to make it believable. And it looks so amazing. And there's something very peculiar about how a nation enjoys enjoys watching this baby grow up and enjoys watching this man Truman growing up from a child to this you know this fully grown adult it's odd but it's um it's questionable and there are a lot of moral issues raised but it is also a comedy and i think it blends it very well and we start to see Truman beginning to question things where he sees the same person cycling past at the exact same time every day. There are a lot of repetition in the scenery because obviously there are so many, there are only so many extras that can be on this show and it's unpredictable the direction it will take. Usually I don't like films that are too long, but I feel like this film should have been longer. It's about an hour and 40 minutes, I believe. I would have loved this to have been even longer and explored it even more. It's really unpredictable. It's really exciting. It gets a little emotional when you kind of delve into Truman, Truman's personality when he begins to question things. It's great fun, but again, morally questionable. It's really brilliant. If you haven't watched it, I promise that it lives up to the hype. It really is a fantastic film. I think... Everybody can enjoy it. It's rated PG. It's a film that I think you'll get something out of every... You get something out of it every time you watch it. And the more you watch it, the more you notice things. I've only seen it a few times. I haven't seen it that much. But I know that when I next watch it, which I inevitably will do, I will probably notice something else. So I'm kind of looking forward to that experience again. It's a film that will stand the test of time forever. The Truman Show really does live up to that hype. 